Um, I'm trying to pull up my stream. Copy link. That shit in the fucking Discord. Bears versus 49ers. Click the link. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's gonna be Okay. Yeah, um I think the I think either the Packers might get the fourth sim. I don't know yet because Viking said he wouldn't be there all weekend, so I think he think the Packers get a fourth sim. Um and then uh the other games might end up being for sim. Except for Char uh, Chargers and Raiders. Yeah, Chiefs has been waiting. So if the Cardinals can't play, if the Cardinals can't play, then I'll give the Chiefs for sim. They were waiting there all weekend. Yeah. Okay, well. Yeah. Yeah. God. That red zone fucking... The red zone part when end of the game was fucking wild. I was sitting there like, oh shit, I gotta guard fucking everything. Yeah, I'm sitting there like, okay, well, yeah. I guess game's ending. Oh yeah, the Patriots guy and the Dolphins guy apparently are trying to talk through Xbox. The Patriots guy apparently, uh, his phone's f service is fucking down, apparently. I don't know what's going on. There's something wrong with his phone. He can't get in touch with Discord. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, I'm ready to search Trippy. Okay. What happened? <laughs> that has to be fucking...
That should be hilarious. Continues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport. Soldier Field in Chicago. Today it's the opener of a new NFL season <laughs> between the San Francisco 49ers and the Chicago Bears. Here's Cairo Santos now ready to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Yeah, so I, I know my left end is too low. He needs to be 75. He needs to be 75 to get ability. There's Purdy on first and 10. That's complete to the tight end Warden. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Yeah, if you did your playbooks and team schemes, you should have it. What's up, Rebel Chief Barbecue? What's up? Thank you. Um, aired out. Damn, George Kittle. Throw on first down here. And his throw is incomplete. They well, certainly thought he had an open move beyond the first yeah. down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. I saw Chicago and Pittsburgh when you were on your playbooks. I, I, I saw Chicago and Pittsburgh. This one caught by Kittle. Inside the 30. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This is shaping up to be a really nice looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. And he's going to take it in. Yeah, this Chicago team is going to be a fucking experiment, isn't it? <laughs> First in the season opener. Gold with the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Fields and the Bears now with a first and ten at their 25-yard line. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And this first play will get him back to the 20. Yeah, this is about to be a fucking game. experiment. Charvarius Ward there to make the stop. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. You don't see that a ton, do you? With a quarterback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball is moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Fields to get that there for a Chicago first. Oh my god. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up. This shit's about to be fun. Okay. Now they got one manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. On second down, Montgomery. Oh, yeah. oh my god. This offensive line sucks. On that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. 
sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Fields. Okay, Darnell Moody just, I don't know what the fuck Darnell Moody was doing. Okay. Okay. Classy books. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and ten. And he'll be just shy. Wait, my phone's ringing. That's not my phone. Give him a gain of five on the complete. What about the fucking say, Kevin? They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. Damn. I'm gonna have to make some trades. I'm gonna have to make some fucking trade calls. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one I'm gonna need to make some trades to get this Bears defense better. We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move, and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. Now he's gonna swing this one out to his running back. And he will okay. back to the 34 yard line. That was well defended and while his completion resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. Throwing again on second down. Purdy. Man open. That's Debo Samuel. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 44-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. And this offense is moving the ball well. Exactly as he drew Damn, I'm surprised he didn't fumble. <laughs> That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. On first down, Purdy. Okay, thank God Eddie Jackson was there. <laughs> oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And now the throw here is incomplete. And with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Looking to throw. Able to find okay, good shit. That's at least the field goal. Um, fourth and three, you can go for it. Fourth and four, you got a punter field goal. Yeah. No, you can go look at roll chat after the game. <laughs> the kick by 
I, I think the only exception I had to that role is if you're losing in the fourth quarter. I think that's like the only exception I had for it, fourth down role. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Offense ready to go for their next drive. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. From the gun, here's Fields. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Yeah, fucking this Bears team is so garbage. <laughs> Second and ten. Fields. A throw left side. Take it. Thank God I speed boosted him. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Again, Fields. And again, back to Komet. Let's go, Komet. He took way too long the fucking break on his route. <laughs> he took way too long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was tough. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they'll wind up getting this all the way down. Thank God, uh, thank God, David Montgomery is slow as shit. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle it behind the line. Oh, who is that? Kinlaw? Oh. Okay. Back to throw. Fields. Dropping this underneath with Herbert. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. And they take a lot <laughs> oh of <laughs> What a nice play he made there in the open field. That is caught at the seven. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw. A nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. Took a, okay, I'll take a couple yards with Herbert. My running backs are so shit. Things really have gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it. I wouldn't mind trading. Oh, what's Elijah's speed? I can work with that. Oh. I'll go, I can probably trade for him. Thing, thing is, I don't know what the trade for him. <laughs> My whole team is like. <laughs> My whole team looks like. I mean, I got a bunch of wide receivers I'm not using. I got um, Equinemius St. Brown I'm not using. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And 
they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Try to sit on the lead and play that way. Well, Ma Let's go. Muhammad got a sack. <laughs> Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Now Purdy. And he will find his man Samuel. And he'll be taken down Damn. before they work it across midfield. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Purdy to throw it on first down. That ball caught. Brandon Damn, Hull. I fucking went the wrong way. Now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first down. <laughs> so first and ten now from the 30. God. God. I remember, hold on, I gotta tell you this. I remember the time, it was the first season of Dirty Boys in like Madden 22. Fucking, I remember as, ooh, good throw. Um, I remember fucking, um, uh, Derek Carr went down injured. Derek Carr went down with an injury. And, um,. I had to fucking play the Browns guy, and I was down by two touchdowns. Ben DiNucci with the fucking game on the line, fucking <laughs> with the tie the game. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they gotta get ready. It's first and goal. Oh. Purdy sets up to throw again. is going to hurt on any down but really the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down the first three if you don't have it wide open just get rid of it make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down first and goal and you throw the pick not good at all now he'll let it go deep right side okay you came down with that one <laughs> good God. Coach. I don't know what to fucking do. I don't know what to do on offense. <laughs> and we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. And we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was set yeah. and he's dropped at the end. He got squeaky ass door. Put some WD 40 on that shit. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something. Dude, I'm here. <laughs> I'm saying this, bro. I had like negative 14 million in cap. I couldn't do anything. Those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. To throw again on second down. Fields. He's got a man. Thank God for Chase Claypool. <laughs>
just did. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Claypool, he's got 93. I, I used my plus one speed on him. Yeah, the offensive line is like fucking... Offensive line is garbo. I mean... on the gain and it's third and two now they'll yeah, come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here third and two fields that's complete to Mooney touchdown okay. to from 21 yards away what? I, I, only, I think I only have speed and excel based off of that. Speed, excel, and um, speed, excel, and throw power. Um, I. No, not yet. He doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a return touchdown. That's a return touchdown. <laughs> yeah. The, th the thing was about last game, it was based on fucking like blocking. I can barely get kick returns because we have some people that like to fucking kick it to one side. Or just kick it to your fucking fullback. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit. To oh my god. <laughs> Thank God for 90 sub speed on the <laughs> field. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I didn't limit one. I, I, I didn't limit limit at all. I just said you can have it in the box. Throwing again on second and ten. Fields. Fields hit and the ball is loose. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he will bring this one Damn. I don't know why. I don't know what Justin Fields did. It's like he held on to it. Like he just fucking. Guys will take a ten point lead. He wouldn't throw it. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. On first and ten, here's Fields. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, <laughs> he say consequences. <laughs> Down, a run with Herbert. And they get him down, but not before. 
Goddamn. serious right now <laughs> we're being really serious right now See, it was on your side when you were the Jets, I was the Giants. It was on my side when it, last night. Now it's definitely on your side today, bro. Madden can't let me have a fucking fair game against any of my fucking friends, bro. <laughs> I can't. Oh, yeah, the Hail Mary game. Oh, hold on. The game previously. That one was mostly because I fucked up. Oh, my God. God. Why am I not surprised about this? So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. We'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. On first down, this is McCaffrey, and he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. From the 45 on second down, Purdy. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. There's Purdy on first and 10. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone is in a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Uh, 
bad. We are through three quarters here on NFL kickoff weekend. We'll return that third quarter was EA Sports giving me the fucking middle finger. That's what that quarter was. Yeah, he wanted me the fucking star Adrian Peterson. Peterson wasn't even on his team. <laughs> I had to tell him, like, Adrian Peterson's not on your team. Well, to be honest, that dude's a Rajon Rondo sexual. I literally have no time to throw. I drop back, fucking jo uh, j uh, fucking Nick Bosa's back there, ready to fucking give me a handshake at the cookout. I mean, bro. And then look at fucking Khalil Herbert. He just stands there and watches. He watches like he's, his wife's getting fucked in the room and he's in the corner. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I don't have time. I just don't. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Yep, and then of course, like I'm not even surprised. I mean, it was going to get picked anyway. I mean, I don't have time to throw. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of his mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him, let him work through it. Or you start thinking about going to his backup. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Purdy looking to throw. That's gonna be cool. And he hung on to that, bro. But Cole Komet drops the fucking light breeze at him. You can go for it any time if you're losing in the fourth quarter. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone covers because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They go on to the right on second and goal. And a cross to 
I mean, I can't do anything. The defense, def there's only like two 80 overalls on my defense. I mean, I can't do shit. With his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Niners are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is now 24. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Man, my team sucks ass. I'm the Chicago Bears. Translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here. I can't, doesn't matter. I don't have time to throw. <laughs> Um, I think I said, uh, I think no, I said, yeah, up by 17. Oh my God. God, lick his ass crack and the shit stays out of his underwear harder. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Ball resting on the 10 yard line. It's second and one. Well, now they'll try the end around. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. The Niners on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 45 yards rushing for him now. And he's carried the ball just five times. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. First and goal. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. You talk about closing in a hurry as a safety and run support. Not only did he get a good run in, he gave a pretty good pop, too, and finished off the play behind the line of scrimmage. On the ground, McCaffrey. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stopped the play right there in the middle of the field. And they're not going to get the kick off in time. Robbie Gold on now to try the field. Yeah. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Well, that's because it's over five. Well, they, they either back it up or they or I think it's above five minutes the clock can still run after the delay of game. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling I guess uh I guess uh well, I guess um, I guess I'm gonna need to make some fucking trades because fucking offensive line can't even do shit. No, I've I've told them the to double team most of the whole time. I hate because the guard literally just sits there like he's fucking patting Bosa's back or some shit. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look and throw, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. 
That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. To try again after this sack. God, I don't even have time to even run around. Drake Jackson. That is one that he will remember. His first career sack in his first career game in the National Football League. No, uh, it was a good game in the first half. And then, you know, the game the game was like, okay, we can't ever have a fair game against these guys ever since fucking the Hail Mary game, so. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half I mean, I could do record. anything. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year? Yeah, I mean, I'm a 77. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I couldn't do shit.